I'm Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So before I start, I just want to give this beautiful lady a shout out. Uh, her name is Laura. She is part of our RV family and she just started a channel. Um, her channel's name is Diamond Painting by Rhino and she is working on a diamond painting for I believe for uh, Diamond by Tita's event this month and Diamond Grandma's event this month. So um, congratulations Laura. Um, I wish you many blessings on your channel. Uh, please if you could I will leave her link in my description. Just go there click on that link and uh, go give her a subscribe go give her a like on her video and leave her a comment. We've uh, Many of us, I won't say we all, but many of us have been there when we first started out channels and um, it's, it's people like you that uh, help make our channels grow. So please, please go do that. And again, congratulations, Laura. And I look so forward in watching uh, your videos and getting to know you more. Uh, just so so wonderful all right so we've been doing our love and life series but today I just want to read you um, a little uh, a little thing that I found on uh, just kind of searching this morning it's, it's in my devotion so um, it says don't worry it says God is never blind to your tears never deaf to your prayers and never silent to your pain he sees, he hears, and he will deliver you. So just remember that, right? That God is always there for you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. And I just absolutely love that. Um, and yes, don't worry. Just don't worry. All right. I just wanted to share that with you. So with that being said, I think okay we did the shadow we did our we did that and I think now that we can go and do our um, coloring uh, I just want to thank everyone for being here with me today um, it is a hot one so um, if it is hot in your area please stay hydrated and um, stay inside where it's nice and cool um, I'm not sure how long this video is I, I slept in I slept in today and then I had to watch my church service because that's so important to me and then um, yeah and so now I'm doing my video for you guys and so I picked out a little koala I love koalas this one is like really colorful so this is the one that we're going to do today right here there, there he is now you can follow I think there and then I also have my markers here, so that is what we're going to do. But while we do that, I am going to do some fun facts about New Mexico. I thought that would be a lot of fun today, so let me just pull that up on my phone here. And I'm going to see if I can find... Oh, no. I might have to, I might have to search for that again, because it seems that it disappeared on me. Let's see. Here we go. So let me pull up six. Let's see. Ten extremely weird things only people from New Mexico do. Or should we do ten odd New Mexico laws? Let's do ten odd New Mexico laws. Then we can go back to the other one. So so we will read that while, while I color. How does that sound? So we're going to start, I'm going to start off with this little pause. It looks like it's yellow. So we're going to do yellow. I don't know if you guys want to see me color or not. <laughs> and I can put you down probably. There we go. And I'll move this a little bit closer here to me. So, so 10 odd facts. So it says in Carrizozo, Carrizozo maybe it's called Carrizozo New Mexico I'm gonna have to look up where that is but uh, it says women are banned from uh, from being unshaven in public 
So I don't know exactly what that means, but okay. Maybe you can't go around walking bald in uh, in that uh, town. <laughs> uh, or either that or you don't lift your arms if you haven't shaved your armpits. Make sure your legs are shaved if you're going to wear shorts. Weird. That's such a weird law. Alright, let's see. My phone keeps shutting off and it's so frustrating. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. State officials mandated that 400 sexually explicit words be removed from Romeo and Juliet. Oh my. So, I guess if the kids are being taught Romeo and Juliet in school, I know when I was in English class many, many, many years ago, we of course um, read Romeo and Juliet. So that is a fun fact right there, that state officials mandated that 400 sexually explicit words were removed from Romeo and Juliet. So I don't know, what do they do? Just make new copies of Romeo and Juliet? I'm not sure what they do. Interesting though. Very, very interesting. Um, the law states that it that it's illegal for women to pump their own gas or change a flat tire. Wow. Well, that wouldn't hold up in a lot of states, would it? Oh, it wouldn't hold up for me. I mean, I learned how to do that um, when I was quite young. <laughs> Growing up on a farm, I learned how to pump my own gas. I learned how to change tires. My dad made sure he taught me all that. But wow, so if I were to do that in this state, it would be illegal. All right, good to know. Good to know. How many others agree with that or not? <laughs> or how many of you actually know how to change your own tire? That's interesting. All right. It's a misdemeanor to trip a horse. It becomes a fourth degree felony if that horse is hurt. Wow. So don't trip a horse. Well, how in the heck would you trip a horse? I mean, I've been stepped on by a horse. And that hurts. Of course, they're heavy. But um, that was my fault for not moving out of its way fast enough. But how the heck could you even trip a horse? I guess if they're walking or something, I guess you could you could trip a horse. Never even heard of that before. But anyway, you guys, it's a felony. So do not trip a horse if you're in New Mexico. Hunting is prohibited in Mountain View Cemetery in the city of Deming. Oh, isn't that interesting? So I live in Deming. So hunting is prohibited. There is no hunting allowed here in New Deming, Mexico. So, or in the city of Deming, New Mexico. And yes, that's where I am located, just on the outskirts of, of Deming, so good to know. I don't hunt anyway, but if I were to hunt, then I do know that it is illegal to hunt. <laughs> um, Oh, wow. So, also in Deming. So, Deming has a lot of laws. In Deming, it is, it says, you can be arrested for public spitting. Hmm. What happens if you're chewing sunflower seeds? I guess you're not allowed to chew sunflower seeds here in Deming. Because that's a form of spitting. Because you're spitting out the seeds. Oh, wow. So, you can be publicly arrested if you're caught spitting here in Deming. Quite interesting. Um, it is, it's illegal to improperly use the New Mexico state or national anthem. It's considered a petty misdemeanor. Well, okay. I presume that means that it, to improperly use the New Mexico state or national anthem. So, 
Well, I think that should be a law anywhere that you shouldn't mis improperly misuse it. I mean, that's like so important. But uh, anyway, so in Las Cruces, which is only like, Las Cruces is about 45 minutes from where I, where I live. It says it's illegal to carry a lunchbox down the main street. Okay, good to know. I won't carry my lunchbox down uh, Las Cruces. <laughs> don't I don't want that to um, yeah that that's not good so good to know I will not do that not that I have a lunch box but what happened to, what about a picnic basket a picnic basket did you know that um, the Flintstones Tom and Jerry uh, I think there's a few others Hannah, whichever the Hannah Bombero, whatever. Do you know that their creator came from New Mexico? So they're considered New Mexicans? <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, it's against the law to dance while wearing a sombrero. Hmm, interesting. With all the um, Spanish people here, I'm sure they wear sombreros, but I guess they take them off before they dance. <laughs> Interesting. So you, it's against the law to dance while wearing a sombrero. And the weirdest of all the new Mexican laws is that idiots are not allowed to vote. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you know that you're an idiot? Hmm. How would they even know? Isn't that something? I love I love uh, reading little laws like that. That, of course, they're not you know a thing nowadays. Is um, they don't of course follow those laws, but I think every state has different laws that used to be uh, that you could get arrested for. And I always uh, like reading reading those. I think they're funny. So. So it says, so number one, it said about the woman being shaven. So it says, no fussy wussies allowed. The town's unofficial motto is, when in Carrizozo, bring your razor and leave your fuzz at home. It seems the only thing wild allowed in this town is the tamed beauty of the landscape. If you find yourself in Carrizozo, best pack your best grooming kit. It's a hairy situation over there. Oh, that's too funny. So number two was the Romeo and Juliet. It says, in the bizarre turn of events, the state officials in New Mexico threw down the gauntlet, declaring that Romeo and Juliet must undergo some major editing. Um, their mission to remove a whopping 400 scandalous words from the classic play deeming them too saucy for public consumption. Uh, the citizens were left scratching their head, wondering if poor old Romeo would be reduced to merely throwing pebbles at Juliet's window and yelling, Hey, fair maiden, want to go get a milkshake? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a crazy law right there, what they did there. I wonder if it's still like that today. Number three is about the women not being able to pump their own gas. So it says that in the land of the quirky regulations, there was a law that sends women into a twist. Yeah, I'd say. Um, just going to call it this part here. It says that... Uh, Apparently, it's a big no-no for ladies to take charge of the gas pump or even attempt a heroic feat and change a flat tire on their low, on their own. Ladies, better pack your tiaras or your um, crowns and wait patiently for gentlemen to roll out the red carpet for your royal car treatment. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's too funny. Yeah, well... Let me tell you, if I got a flat tire, I wouldn't know how to change it. 
and yes I have pump gas uh, many times and I'm sure that is no longer a law so no tripping a horse this one was interesting to me beware for it's a dis misdemeanor to purposely trip a horse yes you heard it right no shenanigans near those who's but hold your nays because it it gets even more peculiar peculiar oh I can't say that word peculiar peculiar <laughs> if by some unfortunate accident the horse the horse gets hurt during your ill-conceived trip buckle up for the ride of your life because that crime magically transforms into a fourth degree felony oh so when you're when you're riding your horse okay so when you're riding your horse and you purposefully make it trip oh and if it hurts yourself you can have a have fourth degree felony right there wow uh, so remember to keep your feet on solid ground and let those equine friends trot in peace or you might find yourself caught in a horse of a different color giddy up but only with caution <laughs> um, so this is number five is don't think about hunting in Mountain View Cemetery in Deming so in the city of Deming there's a rule that says no hunting in the Mountain View Cemetery well I would sure hope that you wouldn't want I missed that part about hunting in the cemetery, but I sure would hope you wouldn't want to go hunting in a cemetery. What would you go hunting for? Not sure. But anyway, like seriously, who thought that the peaceful resting place of our dearly departed would make a great hunting ground? If you're planning to don your camo and go all Elmer Fudd in the cemetery, think again. The only thing you'll be hunting there is some serious side eye from the people peacefully visiting their loved ones. So leave your hunting gear at home and join the rest of us in respecting the dearly departed in peace. <laughs> oh, that is just too crazy. Number six was need to spit. Don't do it in public and Deming or you will be arrested. So it says in Deming, a town where even llamas have better manners than humans. Uh, there's a peculiar, peculiar law. If you've got the urge to spit in public, you better swallow that saliva real quick um, and surpass that urge until you find a proper place. It says, forget about the Wild West vibes. It's more like, it's more like spitless step forward. Uh, so if you find yourself in Deming, keep a lid on those lo lo loggies or repair for a showdown with the spit police. Oh my goodness. Logies? Loggies? I've never even heard of that word, so I don't even know what that is, what that means. I guess that's like this, if you're like clearing your throat and spitting, I'm presuming that's what that means. Um, be careful when singing the New Mexico State Anthem, singing improperly is against the law. So in New Mexico, if you attempt to perform the state or national anthem using maracas, oh, as a percussion instrument or replace the lyrics with a recipe for green chili stew, be prepared to face the consequences. Improperly using these anthems is a petty dis misdemeanor. So keep those maracas silent and leave the green chilies out of the anthem. Unless, of course, you want to face the music from the law. <laughs> interesting very interesting uh, that was number seven so number eight so number eight is about the lunch boxes in Las Cruces and it says let me see let me do some green here and it says um, you cannot carry a lunch box down the main street in Las Cruces and why not why can't we it says fear not for you never know when a spontaneous picnic might break out that's true that's what I was saying what about a, a picnic basket it says it seems that lunchbox bandits have struck again causing chaos with their sandwich with their sandwich filled contraband <laughs> watch out citizens the lunchbox police are on patrol Hmm, I wonder where that law came from. Very interesting. 
Very, very interesting. Um, do not dance while wearing a sombrero. So this is where sombreros and dance moves collide. There, ex they, there exists an obscure law that throws serious shade at the hat dancing. Yes, you read it right. In New Mexico, oops, I mean New Mexico, strutting your stuff with a sombrero on your head is a capable offense. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's see, this is like one, two. I'm trying to follow according to this little guy up here, but I don't know how well I'm doing. Um, it says, looks like the law is just a little too serious about keeping those festive hats stationary. So if you decide to bust a move, be sure to leave the sombrero hanging on the coat rack. Um, it's the difference between moving your feet and facing the music from the law. Oh, geez. Um, oh, and number 10 is in New Mexico, there is a law stating that idiots can't cast their ballot. That is too funny. Let me just color this in and then we're going to read why. So it says, so if you're an overzealous donkey or a particularly unintelligent extraterrestrial, you might have to set out the next or sit out the next election. The state's casting call for voters excludes those with these just three qualifications, insisting that only those with a full deck of intelligence uh, cards get to play the political poker game. Look, looks like the state is serious about putting the smart in the smart politics. Make sure their electrical decisions aren't a cure, a circus act. <laughs> oh, geez. So if you consider yourself an alien, yep, uh, you're an idiot, I guess, and you can't vote. And um, if you consider yourself a donkey, I guess that too, you can't uh, vote. So... There you go. I wonder. How, I wonder how it goes in New in. Uh, is it New Oswell or Oswell, where they have all the uh, alien attractions? I do know that in um, on our on our way to uh, Arizona. I don't, know, I don't even know how many miles it would be from here, but there is a. And a state attraction, I think it is actually already in Arizona, but it's called The Thing. And uh, there's huge signs so all along the I 10 when you're driving down it, you'll see these huge signs, and it's called The Thing. And so, of course, my husband and I were curious, and so we went to go see The Thing. And uh, it was quite interesting all the stories and stuff that is in the the thing <laughs> and you know what is located there's a gas station I think there's a Dairy Queen and then there's the uh, little um, exhibit called the thing so it was quite interesting but yeah it's about aliens there but uh, I do know that New Mexico is known uh, for their aliens at least uh, Roswell is and I do want to get I did go there once but uh, most things are closed so I would love to go see the museum there and stuff and uh, I think that's just so interesting. Are there other extraterrestrial, extra <laughs> that's how you say it, uh, beings out there? You know, very curious. But I don't know what I would ever do if I saw an alien. I saw a huge bug last night. Oh my goodness. So my husband and I went to town last night and when we when we came home, uh, we went to town. He got himself a milkshake and I got myself a slushie from Sonic and it was so, so good because it's been so hot here. But, uh, but anyway, so we were going to sit outside. So we sat outside and I was replying to some of uh, the comments that were left um, on my video yesterday. And anyway... Um, Ollie started to sniff around on the ground and I'm like, oh, I wonder if he found a lizard or whatever. 
and there was a little bit of a racket I couldn't really tell what it was well here it was a huge beetle it was this huge black beetle and I was like oh right well this thing had wings and it flew and it landed right on my leg well I don't think I've ever jumped so high in my life I jumped out of my chair I said that's it I'm going inside and that was uh, my night's adventure here in the desert it was uh, with this big um, extraterrestrial <laughs> beetle. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, yeah, it was huge. And, uh, I mean, I've seen beetles in the past, but I've never seen them that big. It was uh, quite something. But anyway, I'm just going to finish this up here. And I think he's looking so good. So these gel pens are very, very nice. Um, I think they're just going to soak into the other page, though, because they are quite, quite wet, it uh, seems like. But, but anyway, so, so New Mexico does have a lot of different, um, sites to see there are some really beautiful areas in new mexico of course i'm kind of in the desert part but if you go the other way from albuquerque you get up into the mountains where it's all nice and green there is a place called the red river up there absolutely beautiful and um my husband and i spent a bit of time up there and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous there's like a, a little town called eagle's nest and there's a there used to be I don't know if it's still there but there used to be a saloon and they've basically kept it the same which is which is quite unique um, that they that they did that and there's actually a little story behind that saloon um, where they think it's haunted and that this lady disappeared I think it was used to be a brothel or something but anyway this lady disappeared and they believe she was murdered from one of her men <laughs> I don't even know what they what they even um, call those ladies now but anyway I think there's names there's proper names for them but but anyway she was the lady of the night <laughs> and yeah so uh, apparently she was murdered and Apparently her spirit still lives there, um, according to the locals there. So it was quite interesting uh, to follow or going there and listening to the story of uh, how they feel that the, their little salon, salon, saloon, saloon there was haunted. But um, it had like those um, folding doors that so when you walked in, just like like the old country western. There's also another place here. Um, I don't know if it's in Arizona or if it's in New Mexico, but it's not far from here. Tombstone. I would love to go to Tombstone and check that out. But, but anyway, here's our little guy so far. Isn't he cute? And there he is there. So I'm kind of trying to follow kind of close to what he looks like there. But, so, really cute. But anyways, guys, I think it's getting to be 30 minutes. It's getting very warm in here. Again, uh, please, if you're in the heat, take heed. Watch those warnings. Um, keep hydrated. Also, I believe that um, hurricane that's been coming this way is going to be hitting Texas here soon in the next 24 hours. So if you're in that area, my prayers and thoughts go out to you. Please, um... Please listen to the warnings. I think there's going to be like flash floods and other things that are going to go on there. So yes, um, please keep safe and uh, just watch those warnings. Uh, there's going to be probably a lot of storm chasers out there. And there's probably going to be tons of YouTube channels covering it. So if you want the latest information, I'm sure you can check check it out on there. But uh, but anyway, so keep cool keep cool today definitely keep cool here it's going to be 105 so i'm going to go i'm going to turn on my air conditioner so we can get some nice cool air blowing through here so from my home to yours i hope you have a, just a wonderful wonderful day um god's richest blessings to each and every one of you and 
and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.